Welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am the psychic, the medium, the channel, Tony Green. Okay, we are going to get started right away with the show. Um, first and foremost, I will never reach out to you. Please do not be scammed by anybody pretending to be me. Seriously, folks, of all the people you could pretend to be, have a bigger item, have a bigger goal. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay. Um, again, blog talk is down. I really do apologize and I'm a bit frustrated with it, but here we are. This is what it is. We work with technology the best we can and we get through our days and it happens, right? So we're going to answer questions off of YouTube all afternoon or all morning. Um, I'm going to start the show the way I normally do. Now, if you listen to the show often, uh, there were some names that came through this morning. So I did a TikTok on them. Plus I did a clearing on TikTok. So you might want to go back and listen to those because those names uh, are there. And I'm going to start the show today with names and then songs, and then I will go into answering questions. You can post your question in the chat. I'll be happy to answer that question for you. For those of you that I've sent the session out to, um, I'm doing a six week, a six session, which is six weeks, program on self, self-love, self-respect, self, self self-esteem. I always forget all of them, but six weeks. I've completed up to week five with everybody um, that's involved in the program. And the last week is self-love. Each session is only $25, but I was gifting people sessions. Thank you for your feedback on that. It is really powerful. I'm going to tell you something. I've been listening to them uh, just to get, you know, this is what it, this is what the session sounds like. This is the background noise, but also to see how effective they are effective. I'm just going to say it. I, what the last session I did uh, Saturday, I channeled the whole thing, eyes closed, just channeled it all the way through. I'd written notes of what I thought I was going to do. I had a hypnosis script that I thought I was going to use. Nope. They just closed my eyes and I channeled the whole session, which is, I, I love. And when, of course, when I went and listened to it, of course, again, you know, the, the tears coming out and just having all these knowings and understandings of past traumas. And sometimes it won't show up like the trauma or the, the hurt, let's call it the past hurt. Um, sometimes it won't show up like the past hurt. It'll be a symbol or a sign for it. So it's pretty, pretty good. Anyway, um, let's see what else. I go live every Monday at uh, noon and every Wednesday at 7 p.m. You can join the other time. And I also do private sessions. Um, if you'd like a private session, you can go to my website, uh, take care of it there, and then call the number and I will take care of you. The first question, and I kind of answered this already, but I'm going to answer it on air because I think this is really important. First of all, we are in a crazy, intense full moon. And full moons, you know, have people sometimes behaving in a way they normally would not behave. Now, um, Terry sent in a question. Uh, she had a misunderstanding with a coworker. And when she tried to explain herself and keep it cool, um, the coworker kept spreading all kinds of things with other people behind her back. It obviously angered her, as it would any of us. And um, Terry sent her a quite serious message saying, I don't appreciate her acting 
this way. Instead, I'm the one who's trying to communicate and she's making me so angry. So here's the thing. And there's there's uh, another message. I hope people won't buy into what she's saying. And and I'm kind of paraphrasing her, her question and situation. Uh, will this just kind of die down? It will. Eventually, they all die down. No matter what happens at work, there's another fire tomorrow somebody's putting out or another gossip or another another thing. Um, it will die down. Um, and and she just, and the, the big thing is when we are in this situation, we would hope it could just stay between the two people. But whenever it's like a dysfunctional family situation, when you are dealing with co-workers, he said, she said, yada, yada, yada. And, and then Terry said, should I delete the mess? She hasn't read the message. Should I delete it? Yeah, go ahead, delete it. It's, it's not worth it. You've already said everything you can say, everything you need to say. Um, and I'm going to say this again. I've said this on my show in the past. A, a bit ago, a long bit ago, and I'm I'm just going to repeat it. People at work, you know, we want to believe we can be friends with them and we can be friendly with them. But when we work, you know, five, four or six days a week in the same space with someone um, who at some point may or may not be our competition for a um, promotion or raises. Um, it's like your manager is your parent and you are the children competing for whatever's to be competed for. Most people don't go to work because they want to. Most people go to work because they have to. You're already being put into an environment that you really don't want to be in. With people that, you know, if you quit tomorrow, you would probably never speak to again, the higher percentage of them. You cannot expect, sometimes it happens and that's great, but it should be a very slow, long process. You cannot expect to find your best friend or a really loyal friend at work. It rarely happens. Now, if you're a good person and you don't have healthy boundaries, and, so, and I'm not saying you don't have healthy boundaries, Terry, but if you don't, if you're not a strong person with your boundaries, with your personal boundaries, and you say yes to people all the time. If people come and ask you, can you this, can you that, will you this, will you that, and you say yes. The first time you say no, they get so upset because now they feel entitled to your doing things for them and how dare you say no. You've been doing it all along, now you're betraying me. And that's their unhealthy boundaries. It's best from day one, from the first time to say no, than to try to say no down the line. Because people will like what you do for them. Please listen up and understand this to the core of your being. People will like what you do for them and not like you. Not because you're good, bad, or indifferent. They're just users. They're people of convenience. It's convenient for them to have you do things for them and they let you. So people will like what you do for them and act nice to you, especially in a business setting so they can keep getting what they want, but they never truly were a good friend. And nice people think I'm doing this because I like you and because we have a friendship. There's a lot of snakes in the grass my friends. And the fastest way to find out who's a snake, tell them no. Tell them no just once. Say, no, I'm sorry, that doesn't work for me. Say it in the nicest possible way. And you will find out 
who is riding with you and who is riding on you. And there is a huge difference between those two things. There is a huge difference between those two things. Now, we think it's a work situation and we want to keep everything copacetic. We want to keep it flowing. We want to have all the niceness and we want to have friends. And that's all normal. But we have to realize, again, if, if that person weren't there tomorrow, if you found another job tomorrow, these are people you would probably never talk to again. So keep it in perspective when you're at work, folks. Okay, if you are watching and you have a question, please put it in the, in the chat area. I'm going to say this and I'm going to try to get through every single question, but I want you to please make your question very direct and very about a, a one subject, no general readings, and only one question per person until I get through everybody. If I've already answered a question, I'm, I'm going to skip over your next question until I get through everybody. Remember this show airs on a number of stations, TV stations and streaming stations. Um, uh, my nose itches, that means children are in the room. I'm gonna do names, Lily, Liliana, Lily Liliana is the first name, uh, Lila, um, Jesse, the next name, and these could be your name, a loved one's name, or the name of somebody involved. Um, Persephone, Persep I think that's how it's said, Persephone, um, Peony, uh, that's a flower. So that could be a conf confirmation or it could be somebody's name also. Um, and Lily could also be the, the flower or somebody's name. Okay. Take it how it fits for a confirmation or a name. Ginger, uh, Paul, Joseph, Mike, Michael, Mike, Jerome, Jennifer, Lilac, these flowers today, I love it. Um, Misty, Melinda, that's not the name I was going to try to say, but there's a name coming through. Miss, Miss, M, like M I S or M E S, Miss Kiel, Miss Kiel, like K I E L, possibly Miss Kiel. Okay, that's the next name. Now I'm going to go to songs. This could be a song that answers a question, a song your loved one loved the person up above loved, you love, <clears throat> you just both listen to the song or a song that comes on often to remind you and that song is a confirmation they're with you. Um, I, every single week I keep getting this song, I can't stand the rain on my window, that song every single week, oh my gosh. And it's typically the first song out, which is okay because I really want someone to know that's them. Um, Georgia. Oh, I don't think I've ever, ever, ever had this song before. Sweet. I got Georgia. Sweet. I think it's Sweet Georgia. I got Georgia on my mind. Something like that. Okay. If the song is for you, you're going to know in the first, it's like name that tune. You're going to know in the first word or two that it's for you. Okay. So just know that. Sitting on the dock of the bay. Um, that song, Drift Away, and then the song, um, I don't know if this is a song or if it is just a statement, but it could be a song. It might just be one I'm not familiar with. Make Me Whole, whole Again. Uh, you Took Pieces of Me. Come, 
come back and make me whole again. This could just be a song or it could be something somebody said to somebody, you know, let it get in where it fits in, make it work how it how it works for if you're if that's you, you're just you're just you're going to know if that's for you. Okay. Um yeah. I, I want to be a cowboy and you can be my cowgirl <laughs> and I really can't sing that or anything else for that matter. Um, <clears throat> Motown, anything Motown, anything Motown. And then I'm only going to do two more songs, even though there's so many uh, songs going around, I can't get the words to them. But remember, you know, I will get messages as many as I can for you. So the next song is um, Like a Sunflower by uh, Post Malone, that song. And then the next song is uh, If You're Happy and You Know It, Clap Your Hands. Now I did say my the when the when my nose itches, especially like the inside of my nose, it's a sign that children are here with us. And they think it's hilarious to do things like make the inside of my nose itch or inside of my ear itch. They just find that hilarious because then I'm like doing this and it looks, they just giggle at it. I don't, I can't even explain it, but they're still very young natured. Okay, we're going to go to the first question that I think it's the first question I didn't answer. Hey, Amy May, hey, Rebecca. Uh, Heather wants to know, my cousin is going to the clinic for specialized TBI treatment. They finally got room for him. I think you want me to respond. I think it's going to go well. I hear it's going to go very, very well. Hey, Elsa. Hi, Fawn. Fawn wants to know, can you, <clears throat> can you give me advice on when to look for work? I hear look now. It might take a moment to find it, but you're going to but, but look now. And when it comes, when the right one comes, you're going to understand it. And Fawn, I'm hearing, you know, you guys, I want to tell you something. Go to websites. F go to any, any, um, go to websites. Go to company websites. There are, if you go to the website and you look, you're going to have so much more luck, okay? Um I'm going to say there is a, um, there are even, there are, the, now for this, you wouldn't be able to do this, but there are companies out of the country that are now hiring for remote positions. Okay. So that would be something to look, and that's like one specialized website also. So that is what I'm going to say, go to all, and every company fills just about, they, they need all the positions. So like, even if I say, let's just say Norwegian Cruise Line, they need the bookkeepers, they need the accountants, they need the, the um, event specialists, people who help them plan, people when they book the cruise, the people who help them plan out their crews and all the events and the packages they're going to do. They need, they need attorneys. They need all the people outside of the ship positions. Now on the ship, of course, they have those ship positions, but outside of the ship positions. And most of those positions are remote. Airlines, um, any hospitality needs all of the positions. So that's one. And But uh, there's a lot of firms that are high. And this is just what I'm getting in. There's a lot of firms like accounting firms and law firms that are hiring right now. So go to specific 
websites apply to there. That's what I'm getting fun. I hope that's helpful. Um, hey, Stella Rose. Hey, uh, I think I saw Genevieve's name in there. Uh, um, let's see, Genevieve. There's Genevieve. Hey, Genevieve. Hey, Rebecca. Uh, okay, going down. Uh, okay, Olga. Olga wants to know, hi, Tony, can you see a move for me by the end of the year? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I hear yes, really strong, but then I hear a very soft no. So like if there's any apprehension or fear with you, that move may not come in. You may need to um, really be very proactive in whatever you're doing and keep yourself single minded, like keep yourself so in alignment with what you want and how you want to get there. Don't um, sway. So if you want to move, just stay so focused on that is what I'm getting. Hey, Sal. Hey, um, Patrick. Laura wants to know, husband stopped divorce last minute to argue legal physical custody of our daughter. <laughs> he has never taken interest before. No, he found out how much they're going to take out of his check for ch child support and spousal maintenance. <laughs> okay, let me finish. <laughs> it's all about the Benjamins, baby. It's all about the Benjamins. Um so something I, I need to read the rest of the question. Okay, just so I know what she wants to know. Why is he doing this and what will the outcome be? Okay, courts are now automatically giving 50-50 whether the husband showed or wife showed interest, wanted it, didn't want it. If they changed their mind and now they want 50-50, the courts are giving it to them. Um, and this is a move by one parent who normally wouldn't care or wouldn't go for this move to pay less in maintenance or child support. I'm not saying all parents that do this are only doing it for that. Some parents actually want an active 50-50 role. Um, here's the thing, once they do that, Okay, if you get, if one of the parents is primary care and gets the child more than 50% of the time, um, the other parents' costs go up exponentially, if, not only for child support, but for like the cost of the home and yada, yada, yada. So um, if this is what, is being asked for, chances are, no matter what state you're in, it's going to be granted. And the reason that the person does this is just what I said. Now, maybe at a change of heart and realize, wait, no, I, I want to be able to, you know, have more of an active role in my child's upbringing. Let's hope that's true. One of the things I say to people in this position, if they get 50-50, make it 50-50. Make it more than 50-50. Make sure they are taking the child 50% of the time, regardless of. Make sure of it. It can be very, um, it, it's important for so many reasons. And then if they, decline, make sure you're getting that in texts, make sure you're getting that in emails. Um, so that later on, you can go back and say, listen, we did this based on 50-50, but he's only doing one day out of the weekend. So they can reassess, readjust and put everything back into place. But hopefully, you know, I, I also always say this to couples going through a divorce. There was a time when you really loved this person enough to marry them and have a child with them. No matter what your feelings are about this person now, this is your child's other parent. And do the best you can to make it work the best it can in the safest conditions 
for the child. Okie dokie, going to the next one, Sal. Hey, Sal. Um, I have a friend named Caroline who passed over. I'm so sal sorry, Sal. How is she doing? Good. And maybe she has a word for my business venture. Get going. Stop making excuses. Do it now. That's her word. She's very assertive, Sal. It, Caroline's doing good. Better than ever. Better than it ever was. Better than ever. I, I can hopscotch, skip, and jump again is what I'm hearing. She reminds me of like, not this, not like the 60s were her prime, but like somebody who in the 60s, 70s, when they were at their prime, that's what her energy reminds me of. That like, oh, I hear flower power energy, like, let's do this. Um, I'm hearing Sal also this. Um, there are going to be a number, a plethora of people helping you with your business. They're just waiting for you to push the button. Get her going, get her done is what I hear. Um, there's always a reason, a justification, and this is what I'm hearing from above. There's always a reason, a justification and a, 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 to, to, to wait a little longer. Like I need to have this, I need to have that, I need to do this, I need to do, but th th all of those things, when they come in, they can add to it. Don't, don't put it off any longer. And I'll tell you, Sal, from my personal experience, when I first started, the TV show, um, it, I wish, I really wish I had been, I, w I really didn't do social media because believe it or not, I, I'm a super private person and um, I had the TV shows doing everything for me. And then when lockdowns came, I realized I needed to do it myself. And I, looking back now, I wish I had started way before that because imagine where it could be now. Imagine where it could be now. And so that's what I have for you, love. Um, if you do have a question, please post it in the chat. If you are asking a question, um, please be kind enough to at least like and then, you know, subscribe so you know every time I go live, which is Mondays at uh, noon and Wednesdays at 7 p.m. Both of those are central time. And you can come on and ask questions with me. Uh, Stella Rose, I wanted to know if Monique wants to tell me anything. Is Monique on the other side, Stella Rose? I feel like she is. I'm gonna go all the way down and um, Stella Rose, I need you to tell me is Monique on the other side? And has she been there for about, I feel like I keep hearing a year. I don't know if she's been there for a year or if she was ill for a year or something was going on for a year. A year. Uh, she is on the other side and yes, yes and yes. I'm gonna take that as yes to both questions. Um, what she wants you to know is, um, she's singing a song. She's starting with the song, give a little bit, give a little bit of your love to me. I know I can't sing. I'm sorry. I'm butchering that song. Cause I love that song. Um, that that's the first thing she's saying <laughs> and she's cracking up on it. She's just cracking up for whatever reason on that. Uh, oh, she was missing. It, she was missing, but now she's on the other side. She was missing for a year. Oh my gosh. Ah, oh, Mary, I love that song too. So st st uh, Stella Rose, I wish um, she was missing for about a year. Okay, thank you. Um, oh, gosh. Okay, um, the next thing that she wants to say, sing is the, the Caddyshack song, I'm All Right. And then the next thing she wants to tell you is, 
um, it's, it's better now. It's, it's, it's all better now. She has a lot to process and she's going to get through it. She's gotten through it. She, she's gotten through it. Um, she's gotten through it and she's still processing some things from life. Um, but it will be, she's better now. It, it, every day is a better day and she's going to be sending you signs and I'm seeing three signs. Um, the first sign is ladybugs or beetles, but ladybugs. Um, the next sign is daisies, Ger like Gerber daisies. Daisies, Gerber daisies, or daisies, just any kind of daisy. Um, she loves the flowers that are like, like, um, that have the, like daisies that have the thin petals, like a lot of them. So any flower with a lot of petals, especially like the daisies. And then the next, uh, the next thing, the next sign, because there were three of them, is um, she's singing the song, Time is on my side. And I'm going to try to just, time is on my side. Oh, yes, it is. Okay, I know I can't sing. I apologize. Um, but just to make sure it's the right song. And then um, any clocks, like especially cuckoo clocks. I can't believe I can't, I can't believe I'm saying oh, oh yes. Um cuckoo clocks. Any clocks, any and I think because she was missing like the time element, anytime, like whether it's a like a grandfather clock, but the, there is some significance to a grandfather clock, like one of those really tall old style clocks. Um, oh, and Stella Rose is confirming everything. Thank you, Stella. This is how it should be if I have to do this through chat. She's saying, cuckoo clocks. I talk about those all the time. Oh, mwah, I love you. Mwah, I love you, Stella. Thank you. Um, cuckoo, cuckoo clocks. That's her third confirmation for you. So, But time, and time is on my side. Um, and then I hear, um, justice and just justice or the justice, justice will be done or has been done. It, it all comes out. So Stella, that's what I have for you. Thank you so much for that amazing, uh, question. And thank you so much for, um, I'm trying to find, oh, there's a lot. Okay. I need to speed it up folks because there's a lot of questions. Hey, Maris, um, Elizabeth. Hi, Tony. Um, can I trust the landlord to move me before my program expires in November? You know, I feel like they're going to try, but you need to be proactive and stay on top of everything. Um, you need to really push it. Um, get the paperwork, make sure all paperwork is done and submitted and everything is in place for this is what I'm hearing. I'm also hearing be extremely proactive. Don't let up on it. You know, um, it's more important to you than it is to anybody else. So please make sure you're getting all the paperwork in and pre-approved. I'm hearing get your pre-approvals. I hope that helps, Elizabeth. Kavita wants to know, hi, Tony. Will my issue with my insurance company reimbursing me actually be resolved soon? Do I need to take further action? Thank you. Will it be resolved soon? You know, soon as a relative term, not as quickly as you'd like. Obviously, they slow walk things. That's just the way they work because then you get so frustrated and give up. Make sure you keep on them and resubmitting. Um, 
I don't know if this is going to work or not, but tell them you're going to add interest and legal fees if they don't. <laughs> I don't know. That's just what I'm hearing. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, okay. Uh, hey, Rebecca. Thank you, Rebecca. Eva, Eva, you're new to the show, I think. I think Eva's new to the show. Let's pop you up here. How come it's not popping? There we go. Hi, Tony. Will my soap making give me success and financial freedom? Somewhat, yes. Um, do you know what I'm going to do, Eva? I'm going to tell you, um, you're going to go as far as you believe you can. And the biggest thing I'm hearing for you is don't worry about storefronts in the beginning. Don't worry about being in box stores, big box stores, do so much online first, get your website, get people to promote your website, like um, get testimonials, use, use online first, because when you're online, it costs like it's it's a much better way to go, especially in the build beginning. The next word they were going to say is build from your base. And your base is your site and all of your social media. And then once you have a base, then you and you have your people, then you can go. I'm going to tell you, there are those of us out here and I'm going to I'm, I'm just a couple and just on this note, you know, making your soap, you can put it on the Walmart site, but as your store and the Amazon and the Target site all, and Home Depot, you can create a storefront with all of them and have it there. And that is where so many people shop now. They don't like go into stores as much anymore. They're searching certain things online and getting them. I get as much as I can online now, and I never thought that would be the truth, honestly. I really never thought I, that would be the truth. Uh, just use electronics, the electronic end of it, as much as you can, and for as long as you can. That's um, bet, love. Ah, uh, you're welcome, Terry. Karma Karen. Good morning, Trisha. Just wondering if my dad had any messages for me. His name was Jeb. Thank you. See, that's how it's done, folks. My dad, his name, messages. Got you. Jeb, the first thing Jeb wants to tell you is uh, this song. Let me tell you, tell you a story about a man named something. Uh, that Beverly Hillbilly song. Okay, Trisha, that should mean something to you. Took Took a moment. Um, then the next thing he wants to tell you is um, he's singing the song, Don't Stop Believing. Don't stop believing. And I go nasally on songs because at, I'm not trying to sound like the song and it's, it's less painful that way, trust me. Um, And Trisha, if I'm, he's going to tell you that he wants you to um, really, the one thing he wants to say is it, it's never too late to pursue what you want or to follow your, your goals. Um, don't, don't, don't get like, don't give up. And then it goes back to that song, don't stop believing. Um, if there's something that even when you were younger, you wanted, just pursue it now. If it's still a passion of yours, just pursue it now. And I, I'm just going to say real quick, I have a lot of businesses, ideas that I've not been able to pursue yet, but I know I will pursue them at some point in time. So um, the timing just hasn't been yet. But when that time comes, 
I'm going to jump on it and I'm going to know everything for it. So please, whatever it is that he is talking to you about, start researching it, do getting it together and do it. Okay. Um, hey, Patrick, my friend Mark offered to rent me his condo in Bonita Springs, Florida. Love that. This winter in February, should I do it? Yes, absolutely do it. Um, yeah, I, it has a really good feeling. Um, I feel like you'll enjoy it a great deal. It will be good, absolutely. Stella Rose, uh, Lila and Jeffrey, Ginger. Okay, Ani. Hey, Ani. I want to know when will I start making some money from my business? Um, okay. I'm hearing next month and I, I'm seeing like a faucet, like a sink faucet and it's dripping droplets of water. Like it's like a drip, like a drip, drip. Okay. So it's going to come in slowly at first, but then it's going to pick up. Okay. So for anybody out here who's an entrepreneur, anything that's stopping or blocking them, let's clear, heal, release that, pull it all, any thoughts, any cycles, any internal or external factors, any programs, any beliefs, let's clear all of that and open it up. Anything stopping or blocking, money, success, um, at a pace they can handle, let's clear, heal, release that. One of the worst things for an entrepreneur, especially that has um, a business with a product, is to have demand. And you can still have people sign up or purchase, but have them on back order. Um, I know a couple companies that do that also. Uh, make sure you are, Ani, Ani, yeah, Ani, make sure you are also utilizing every marketing that you can, whether that be online or otherwise, make sure you are utilizing it, okay? Uh, everybody in the chat is claiming like all the people and the names. I love that. Thank you so much. They know you're going to be here. They show up and they're here for you. Colette wants to know, uh, my grandson, my grandson Braylon, what profession do you see for him? Hey, Colette, I'm going to scroll down. I need you to give me his age, okay? Please give me his age. Um, I get that he's a bit, and it's going to sound a little bit odd. He's persnickety, or he's going to be persnickety. Um, please don't ask me to define that word. I feel like I couldn't uh, define persnickety. And Colette, I need an age. So if you could get that to me, just put his age in there for me. Um, and because I was sometimes when I hear an age or a number, I need to know where they are now in, in relation. And I want to make sure you're still watching. If you're not watching still, I'm not going to answer because there are other people that are still watching that I could answer. Um, you're welcome, Elizabeth. Okay, Colette, I'm just going to come back to you because you're not putting an age in right now. Uh, Sugar Shack. Okay, let's go. What's wrong with you, Sugar Shack? What's what's wrong with all of you? 
what you're 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 wrong sugar shack and you know it okay um here we go you guys when things like that come on don't even pay attention to them if you have to do that that's that's just not right okay going to the next uh thank you stella rose thank you um mary wants to know can you give me any info about twin flame i'm telepathically communicating with yeah no stop yeah no stop <laughs> that just blurted right out of my mouth okay so um don't do that. Don't. Don't. I know this is not the answer you want to hear, and I apologize. Um, stop that. And here's why. When you telepathically communicate with someone, they don't have to take physical action. Okay? Um, it's like when somebody goes to you and you keep sending them text messages, they know you're still interested. You're still wanting them. The energy is still going to them. They don't have to anything. Once the energy is cut and they're no longer feeding off of that energy or receiving messages of any type, they will then have to take a physical action and we live in a physical world and we are supposed to have physical relationships. Now I am, and anybody who knows me knows this, go for a healthy relationship. Titles like soulmate, twin flame, uh, those things tend to justify dysfunctional, unhealthy relationships. If it's not healthy, don't put yourself through that. And I know that's a really unpopular, unromanticized opinion. And we just want to help them. We want to love them. We want to, they are, if this is who this person is and they are not going to change, is this truly how you want to spend the rest of your life? It's up to you. You have free will. You can do whatever you want. That's up to you. But number one, please stop doing that so they have to make a physical move and i i'm going to tell you the moment you stop energetically feeding someone is the moment they feel the loss and they start to come back that's just what i'm getting for you i hope that uh I hope that's helpful for you. It might not be, it, it, and here's another thing I will say. I don't give the answer that people want. I don't feed into the romanticizing of things and the fantasizing of things. This is reality. We live in a realistic world. You either want me and you're right here letting me know you want me and you're making this work and you're doing it in your adult way or you don't. And if you need to walk away to figure that out, the answer is a solid no. I've come to you. I've shown you who I am. You know who I am. You know what we have together. If you can't get your poop in a group or if I'm just not it for you, babe, that's okay. Go find somebody else. But you don't get to, I'm, I'm not a public swimming pool. You don't get to show up once a week, once a month, every other week and come swimming and then go back. I'm not a public swimming pool. I'm not a rental vehicle. Neither are you, love. You deserve so much more. You deserve so much more. And I'm sorry if nobody that you have talked to in the past told you that. You deserve someone who looks at you and says, that's it. And that's how quickly men know. That is just how quickly men will meet you. And on a first dinner, they have put you in a category. That's how, and it could be a timing thing, but don't sit around waiting because by that time, other people will be, you know, you might miss, like it just, you deserve someone who looks at you and from the very first second says, you're it. I'm gonna marry that girl. And every man on here 
will tell you that's a fact for men. They look at a woman, it's very rare. They may be with a woman for five years, dragging it along, and then all of a sudden decide, well, I can't do better. I sowed my wild oats. I'm gonna, or I can cheat. So I'm gonna. Somebody who truly wants you knows immediately. And you deserve that. We all deserve that. Just like, just like with men, okay, when we see somebody, we know this is what I want, this is what I don't want, or yes, this person's for me, or no, this person isn't. And if somebody is giving us benefits, we may drag them along. We, tr you know, I'm not saying me, I'm just saying people in general, but we know what it feels like when somebody truly is interested in us because we've had that in the past and we know what it feels like when somebody's kind of playing cat and mouse with us don't don't do that to yourself sweetie you deserve so much more you deserve so much more melissa wants to know hi my mom happy about me fixing up the house and moving in yes it's ecstatic like more than she could have hoped for you're doing an amazing job uh don't break the bank don't break the bank. Don't break the bank. Okay, that's the message I get. Thank you, Stella Rose. Uh, she was, okay, that I've already done. Uh, okay, Sergey. Holy, holy, holy blessings to all of you. Sending you unconditional love and divine love. Sending a agape love. That's very kind of you, Sergey. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, here we go. Pat. Let's see what Pat says. Uh, no, Pat, I don't. Um, Blog Talk has been having issues for quite some time, and I feel like um, it's it's just a part of the technical world. Things go down. Uh, they did about a month ago send me a thing saying that they're trying to figure out their technical end of things. So it's just, it is one of those things. Uh, hopefully they will figure it out soon. And Pat wants to know, she says, I'm so lonely. I'm restricted by medical prescribed detox. Can I have companionship with this restriction? Not yet. Not yet, love. In about a month, things will open up for you, sweetie. Um... I'm looking to see if there's anybody on here who hasn't asked a question yet, or if I received an answer from, um, okay, there we go. I don't think so. So I'm going to say, uh, AP wants to know, so cryptic, so, so cryptic. Hello, do you see me meeting BHU? How will it go, please? AP. Unfortunately, uh, as of right now, that's a solid no. And I'm asking in so many different ways. Um, here's what I'm going to say, AP, please make sure that this is a very, um, I'm just going to use the word ethical all the way through, okay? Um, Please be very careful with this situation. And I feel like you may not meet this person. I'm sorry to say that. Uh, okay. Okay, I think I've answered all the questions for everybody. If somebody has another question, Thank you, Mary. Thank you so much. If somebody has another question they would like to post, or if I missed a question, please put it in. I'll be happy to answer that. Uh, I, I'm going to say this, uh, AP, I feel like, I feel like it's a real person, but I feel, I keep hearing, um, like it might be a bit 
of a scam and to be very careful and to to um just to be very careful it's it's uh, thank you peter um i feel like it's it's it, this person may not be being ethical so please make sure of that okay um julia julie wants to know perhaps you have something for me julie give me a direct question please give me an exact question about life love career finance or uh, the name of a loved one up above and i'll be happy to answer that for you as time ticks down here um while you're putting your question in julie I'm just going to say AP, um, I'm hearing don't fall for it. And I hear that song, don't get fooled again, or don't get tricked again, whatever that song is, or, oh, we won't be fooled again. I hear that that's a song coming through for you. So please be, be aware of that. Okay. Please, 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 please. Melissa, Ronnie has been past since 2020 will he be mad at me for moving no 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 um for moving out of his home no no um you know i'm gonna say this you you are supposed to move on and live your life the way you want you had the time he he was able to live his life the way he wanted you live your life the way you wanted and where they are the ego part of them is gone and ego is what would cause somebody to get upset okay julie jacks should i believe him uh this is going to take a second julie because Should Julie believe the person she's referring to? I get yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. It's like half truths. Julie, please let me know that makes sense to you. It's half truths, like, or they're saying part of it, but not all of it. What's the real question you want to know? Put it in that. What's the real question? I have, I have a couple minutes left. Put the real question in there. Believe him like about what? Or because I feel like it's either have truths or you're not getting the whole story. And you already know that. You already know that. You already know you're not getting everything. It's like, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> It's like you're being gaslit, but it's been going on for a bit of time and you're not even sure where, how to uh, un, like un, where to start maybe is the right word. Um, you're not, or you're not sure when this started or how to do it. And it, here's a really quick thing in your own home, you can put listening devices or cameras for safety. Okay, you guys, I will be back Wednesday at 7 p.m. Until then, there will be plenty of TikToks that you can listen to. And I love you all so very much. Have an amazing rest of your day.